Welcome back to Out of Controllers, where Maggie thinks that 50 is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous, it's just that when I'm already on the fence about this game, and it's like, by the way, we're gonna throw in, like, a collection quest. Yeah. Then I'm just like, why? Because this game is so big and extensively long that you need 800 things to do. I mean, do you, though? Well... They are most likely in the form of Constellation Magnus. If you come across any of them, please bring them to me. I will reward you for each fragment you find for me. I think I, think I just feel like it's a lot because I feel like we're going to have to find them. We don't have to. I've actually never finished this side really? quest. Really? Yeah, because I was just like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing is you can never find all of them. You can. I mean, you can. But it's just like, it takes some hunting. And like, yeah, and a regular player... Like, a regular casual player cannot find them all, and then I feel very unfulfilled because it's like, well, you've given me this thing to do, and I want to do the thing, but I can't because I have no fucking clue where they all are. You can skip past this. They're just like so saying, if I find a constellation. constellation Magnus, a Constellation Magnus. One yep. more time, that's a Constellation Magnus? That's correct. It's a Constellation Magnus. Well, all right. Just the I'm going to find the Constellation Magnus. They Good on you. Go find the Constellation Magnus. That's that's what this game's dialogue yeah. is. <laughs> Let's see. Today you've brought me Draco, Vega, Poopus. I'm very grateful. How? Where did you get those other? Do you mind three? if I add them to the star map? Go for it. All right. We found them while we were venturing. Oh, they were in the cards I picked up from battles I and stuff. Yes. Huh. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, Draco little dragon. Back. How Vega. I wonder. Where your Vela, oh, Vela is. Sorry. Up above the world so poopous. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you the worst? <laughs> but yeah, so that's the thing. Ugh. And we got a kebab, a flame sword, and a Nixie garb. Ugh. I get like. I suppose that giving you a reward for every single card you bring back mm -hmm. makes it worthwhile. When yeah. they make you, like, wait until you've got, like, five or ten of them. Oh, yeah. That's annoying. When it's fucking incremental systems and it's like, no, I found four. Just, can I have the reward? Because yeah. I'm sure it would help me find them. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Actually, we could um do a thing real quick. What are we doing? We're going to sell some picks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta sell those picks. Because you're redonkulous. They're probably way overexposed by now. There is no such thing. They're hiding in my Magnus. Like, see, these are just sort of They're shitty. They're just really terrible. Regular shitty pictures. Ugh. That was still not great, but it's still yeah. more than other ones. So oh that god, too. that one was... Yeah, see, that's a shitty one. Uh, but it's a guardian of the end Magnus sealed in Sadal Sud. Habitat Moongile Forest. It's fine. Is it worth more because it's a more impressive monster? Or? Yeah. Okay. It was like an ancient beast. So was the saber dragon. Like, it was just like, even though it was a really shitty photo in comparison mm. with the other ones, it's like, rare. Gotcha. I guess that's fine. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not the worst thing ever. Yeah. Like, there are things I do like about this game. Yeah. They're few and far between, but they're... <laughs> no, it's... It's, it's, For all I complain, I'm enjoying this. I'm glad. It's better than Wind Waker. Um, Whoa. <laughs> there are elements of it that are better than Wind Waker. Okay. <laughs> do, do, yeah, do. Like, like combat being a thing you just kind of hang out with. Oh, it's still infinity time. That's nice. Nice, yeah. <sighs> I could take a pick. Do green bananas do damage? Yeah, because they're not ripe. They don't heal. So they hit. What? They hit harder than daggers. What? You know. You know what? How, you know how green bananas are dangerous? No. No. <laughs> I love it so That's much. That's such bullshit. I retract every nice thing I said. This is so real, though. No. <laughs> this is the realest game. No, it's not. Green bananas are dangerous. Oh my god. You do not need to make a speech. Oh, you do every time. No. Bam. He really does it. So does though. No. Pretty right. sure you don't. I got don't. four experience points. Jeez. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Whoa! Glad I stopped myself. The water gushes out suddenly and stops just as suddenly. 
We'll have to time our leap just right to get across. Or just like that. Jeez. Hip. And like hop. You press do you press A to jump or do you just push Oh, in you direction? press A to do interactive like yeah. stuff. And that's the thing, is like even if it's gotta prompt you, I prefer that as a jump function. I mean, yeah. In all other cases you can't jump though. I mean, yeah, that makes sense, but like Yeah. It's it, and it feel it feels reasonable that you can't just jump. Yeah. Oh, and then in the next game actually, you can kinda jump. Hmm. Sort of. Well, you are a burb, so. Yeah. So, like, and like that really makes sense. It's, it, what it doesn't make sense is when they actually restrict you from jumping. It's like, what the fuck, actually? Yeah. None of this makes sense. <laughs> fuck you. Well, no, it. Yeah. When they restrict you from jumping, then it's like they want you to do certain things. Mm hmm. Like, which I get. And also, people don't jump that great anyway. I mean, yes, like, but like, if you had wings. Yeah, I mean. That's true. Like, that's that's mostly the thing is that they make this world where at least a number of people have wings. Mm -hmm. And they are like, oh, but these obstacles for, like, people who are just well, bipedal. But here's the thing, though, is humans don't have keel bones. And that's really what you need to genuinely fly. Um, because our wings can't... Our shoulders are too wide. First of all, our shoulders are too wide, and so we can't get enough momentum from, like, the downdraft to push ourselves up. Maybe. Um, and then we don't have, like, a, mus a muscle structure that is strong enough to then also, like, push ourselves into the air using just these wings. Yeah. And that's what the keel bone is. It's a set of muscles that are strong enough to, like, do that. Hmm. So it could just be more of a gliding thing. It might be. And it also might just be, like, I might be thinking of these wings in sort of necessarily too literal terms, like, yeah. because they might not be, like, usable wings. Yeah, because, like, that lady who had really small, like, oh, that's true. magpie wings. Yeah. Like, she wouldn't be able to fly with those even if that were a thing. Yeah, that's and true. And, like, um, Shel Excelsius Deo? Chelsea? Chelsea? Sh 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 Shella? Sh Shella, that one. Um, she has, bur she has like little insect wings. Yeah. And those probably wouldn't be able to support her weight. Like I could believe that his wings could support his weight. Mm hmm. Shella's could not support her weight. Ah. Um. So, unless you have like pixie magic going on in that too. Eh, so we'll see. There might be there might be some examples of people flying, but. Yeah, but so, like, just, like, I could see it as being more of a gliding thing when it is feasible to use your wings. Uh-huh. Hope you're photogenic. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> it's garbage, and it's growing on me fast. Uh-huh. It's just, it, like, that's the thing, is that, like, it, I think it does kind of, even though I just talked about how it has all these issues, but, like, it yeah. does have, like, these inner consistencies mm -hmm. where it's, like, Okay, yeah, of course. Why didn't you do the so the eight sword and the eight bananas? Uh, I think the bananas heal now. Why? Oh no, they still don't. Okay. They were green bananas. I I don't read. Evidently. <laughs> I'm illiterate. Remember, <laughs> this is the thing we know about me. You could have saved the three for when you used the two. I don't need to use the two. Ugh, fine. I suppose it's dead. Yeah. Oh, you cut him off. You cut the white boy off. However will we go on? Anyway, moving on. I don't know what he wears <laughs> with naturally blue hair. Ugh. Oh, oh what were we rubble. talking about? Rubble. If only we had explosives. Uh, this world's immersive. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I mean, this game has problems because every game has problems. And some of it is with the story and some of it is with the mechanics of the game. Mm -hmm. But I'm enjoying this. Like, it's interesting it tries something new and it pulls it off with moderate effectiveness like it doesn't get in the way of trying to play the game yeah, by no. pulling it off yeah and actually um like i i read i did a bit of reading about this game just mm. because i was like kind of curious about like, yeah if i could think of something to talk about mm -hmm. um and basically they created they made the game sort of the way it is 
So it would be a game that people could play on the GameCube that is this style, because this style is not traditionally made for the GameCube. But also they were like, we don't want you to have to come in with a whole shit ton of like actual previous knowledge about how these games work. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to give you a new system. Nice. And like, combat can be difficult, so we're just like, we'll just make it easy. Cards attack, just play the cards. And like, we'll give you a simple system of like, making the cards more effective. Yeah. And like, because the GameCube was, at least in my head, like, for like, mm, 10 year old ish Yeah. Like, kids, basically. Yeah. And, like, that's really exemplified in the controllers because you have, like, it's really obvious which button you use and they're, like, color-coded. Mm-hmm. And so, like, that speaks to me of, like, a, it, it speak that kind of a controller speaks to me. It's, like, you aren't sure, or this is, like, your first controller or you're not really sure how to play games yet. Uh-huh. And so, like, we're going to help you figure out what you're doing. Yeah. And, like, other... other Games kind of color also color code their controllers, but like, they make everything the same size, oh, so they it do. doesn't matter. Yeah, they're all round buttons, and it's bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> and they're too big for eyes, baby <laughs> hands is another problem that we've mentioned on the show. <laughs> oh god, oh, and like the GameCube is not; it's like yeah. for a little baby. Yeah, but it's like not only for a little baby. Yeah, like, it's not only for a little baby. It's easy for everybody to use. Yeah, it fits pretty comfortably in like any set of hands, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. And not like not any set of hands, but like many sets of hands. Yeah, and that's that's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ugh. And now since we've gone over again. Yeah. Well, I was okay. I wasn't sure if the battle was over or not. Yeah, yeah. I I knew that guy was dead. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, next time we'll probably talk more about the game and its drawbacks and advantages and probably GameCube. As we like to. Yep. Yeah. Thanks Bye. for watching, you guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.